Hello, and welcome to another fun-filled Sunday. Fuck off, asshole! Leave me alone! Don't you know it's fucking Sunday? that uh, is um, going to uh, deploy the effects of the Pulsar Oscillator. And we're going to go ahead and kind of match this up with a just kind of standard uh, toy box, you know, just regular oscillator. And then uh, we'll go ahead and pull in a note sequencer and a clock because we're also going to get creative during this time. So let's go ahead and start patching some things in. I'll patch in the gate, color this guy green, and the reset. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, start playing this at around a similar to 120 or so. Um, let's go ahead and patch in the gate. And that way, uh, this starts playing there. And then we'll get a <clears throat> toy box envelope and VCA as well. So let's go ahead and get these pulled in here. Um, so we'll let the gate of the note sequencer control the gate of the envelope. And then the envelope will just control the. Um, well, the control inputs of the VCA. And then we'll go out of the <clears throat> oscillator into uh, input one of the VCA. And uh, this is the Pulsar oscillator from Euro React. So it's a fantastic uh, paid library uh, that's available now within Reactor Blocks. Um, and then uh, we'll go ahead and patch the toy box oscillator into input two. Um, so let's go ahead and start seeing if we can get some sound by plugging some notes into, it looks like we have the envelope firing here, and I'm sure if we had uh, some uh, routing through the outputs of the VCA, we would probably hear some sound. So let's go ahead and pull a mixer in here and start getting this patched in. So I see some levels happening. Now we hear some levels happening. Now, we don't have any pitch hooked up yet, so let's hook up the pitch. Let's see. Ah, output two. Thank you. 
so this is the pulsar oscillator. I say oscillator output. And then what is this? Interesting. So there's a Gaussian window oscillator within this kind of normal bento style oscillator. That's what I'm gathering. And you can uh, engage this by the probability knob. Uh, changes the probability of a Gaussian window. Um, so that's good to know. Looks like my levels are kind of hot. So let's get this turned down a little bit.
Until next time.